Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Earth Spirit. How are you going? So I'm down um, out at Earth Spirit here, but down towards the creek, and I wanted to do a video. I have been doing some videos about different ancient trees and beautiful trees, and I want to do a video today about the hawthorn, which is right behind me here. It's just finishing up flowering, but um, it's a beautiful magical tree I actually thought I heard something in there behind me I don't know if it was the wind or but this is a really magical place behind me it's where we have a fairy mound that that's in the middle of these hawthorns no grass grows there and they say that fairy mounds are surrounded by hawthorns because they are a fairy tree and also because they're very spiky and so they're protected so I'm just I'll just turn this around and um, So this is a beautiful hawthorn, this is the leaves of the hawthorn, there's the flowers that are still on it there. So sometimes the hawthorn is called a pack of wolves as its thorns are like sharp teeth. Um, there's some of the thorns there if you can see on the hawthorn there. It's very sharp and uh, you can see how magical this spot is. You can't hardly even see, but uh, down in there you can see that it's just a really magical spot under these hawthorns. I just always call it the fairy mound because there's a like a pile of dirt risen up under there that nothing ever grows on, and I always believe that the fairies are in this section. And we, uh, Mum, actually captured a fairy, what we believe to be a fairy, over. They're just over there on one of the branches over there. So, so the red berries on hawthorns are edible too. They're supposed to have a lot of vitamin C and really good for your heart health. So I don't know, we might even catch something on this video if we look in there carefully. It's always connected to the fairies in the Fae and they're considered highly sacred in many communities across England and Ireland. It is very magical little spots in underneath. I can show you. Oh, there's Odin. Odin's saying hello in the background. Makes it even more magical, doesn't it? See, there's the fairy mound just there. If you can see that behind the hawthorns. I don't know if you can see that. But... So um, because, because of its connection to the fairies, severe penalties were actually um, and punishment are said to be bestowed on anyone who harms a hawthorn in any way. And they're related also to the triple goddess and also as its flowers are sharp and its thorns show that it can be beautiful and kind as well as cruel and harsh. So it has the flowers, so the beautiful and kind aspects of the goddess and then it has the thorns which are the cruel and harsh aspects of the goddess. When she's um, in turmoil and standing up for her family or her children, of course the goddess will be strong and and um, sharp like a thorn I suppose and they are guardians of sacred wells and springs which is really interesting because this the creek is just down there and through these trees and um, there is a spring down there so they are supposed to be guardians of wells and springs and there's more hawthorns down towards the creek as well and they are associated with Beltane, with the goddess link. And so uh, the goddess, people used to wear them around their heads as as a headdress for Beltane because it's they're flowering at the moment. And the berries are good for your heart, I said that before. They're highly protective of small animals because as you can see, the thorns are so sharp. There's a thorn right there. <coughs> I can show you it. Where'd it go? It's a bit blurry, but there's one right there. Right there. 
There it is. See how sharp it is? Whoa. Yeah, you don't mess with them. So they actually protect animals, little small animals, because they can hide in their little birds. Uh, they're great for love spells, connecting to the goddess and the fairies, healing. Hawthorns are near springs and fairy sites are places where the veil between the worlds are thin. So I believe that this space right here where there's a fairy mound and there's also the creek and the springs down there is the veil between the worlds will be thin in here in this particular spot. So great place to meditate and um, connect with the fairy. I think I do have a, a workshop coming up to connect with the fairies, so we will be coming down here to connect with them. So yeah, the beautiful hawthorn. And it's actually my Celtic tree, so I just love hawthorns. And I don't find them to be a weed or an obnoxious weed like some people do. I find them to be magical and I would not knock them down because then you have the wrath of the fairies. <laughs> Sometimes cannot, isn't very good to have the wrath of the fairies because they can be quite, they can also be quite um, mad and have a, quite a full on energy if they're not happy. So that's the beautiful, um, some of the things about the hawthorn, some of the myths and legends and things about the beautiful hawthorn, the fairy trees, what I call it, the most connected to the fairies out of all the trees, I would say. So yeah that's the magic of the hawthorn hope you enjoyed that magic and blessings everyone see you later